And before we get back to more of the tournament discussion, we're going to take a little bit of a side tour. We're going on this trip down Mar- down to March Madness. We're going to take a little pit stop. And the next segment we're going to talk on the, about. On the college basketball tour bus? On the college basketball tour bus. We're going to talk about an individual player. And this is something we haven't really done this college basketball season because we haven't had a reason to. But I think this week showed us there's a reason why we have to have this discussion Brandon, I'm just going to throw it out plain and simple. Grayson Allen, the big thing this week from him, tripped a Florida State player. Not the first time he's done it. He's also tripped one of Trevor's Louisville Cardinals. He's not going to be suspended from the ACC. Do you think the NCAA needs to step in and say, hey, you know what? We got to suspend this kid. And two, is Grayson Allen a dirty player? Well, I don't think that there's really any any cause for suspension i think there right is. now i i think that if if you're tripping an official as it blatantly happened uh earlier on in the season then yes i think there's there's cause for uh suspension but i don't think that there's a reason for grayson allen to be suspended right now why Reason, Why? Well, reason being because it doesn't happen all the time. He doesn't do it every game. And some of those things could be just coincidence. It could be just contact. Watch the video and tell me let that me was ta- not coincidence. Well, let, let me tell you. Let me tell you. The one you. against Louisville, not coincidence. That was that, Okay, that was not coincidence. The one against Florida State that we're talking about, not coincidence. The two that people are referencing, not coincidence. Well, here's the thing is I don't think that you need to suspend him for doing something like that because how about this? But this is how backwards. This is how backwards things could be, and this is how people could look at it. This is how some people could look at it. You don't suspend Grayson Allen, a guy who clearly, at least video footage has showed, has Mm -hmm. tripped a couple of players. Yet, Louisville suspends i'm sorry folks to be back on it but louisville suspends their players from going basically it's a suspension yep, for something from, they didn't going, do. from going to the conference tournament and then going to the national tournament because players past, past players, players at louisville had had strippers and mm-hmm. had dancers and all this stuff that's backwards folks but i don't think that this is a cause for concern with uh, Grayson Allen, I don't think that he is a dirty player. I think that sometimes when you get in the heat of the moment and you are a competitor, that's what happens sometimes. I don't think that makes you a dirty player. I think you have to look at everything else. I think you have to look at everything else. Is he is he poking guys in the eye? Is he throwing elbows down low? Is he doing anything like that? I've not seen that. I would not say that he is a dirty player, but I would say if maybe if you're Coach K, you say Grayson, you know, you gotta you gotta watch it. You gotta watch it because now they're looking for it. So I, we know you get heated. We know you get intense. You've got passion. you got energy. Channel it. Channel it the right way. Like when he got a technical foul call against him after shouting obscenities after he was called for a foul. There, He is a leader on that Duke team. And as Coach K said, he's got to be able to, to have his emotions come out in the right way. I'm wa- right now on my computer. I am watching over and over and over the trip against Florida State. And what I am seeing, unless my eyes deceive me, I am seeing there's about to be the inbounds pass. Grayson Allen and the Florida State player meet for a little bit. They're right next to each other, body to body. And Grayson Allen can feel, hey, the guy that is behind me is going to make a cut. And as he goes to make the cut, he leans forward and throws his foot back to obviously trip him. It was intent. It, was, it wasn't It was one of those things like, oh, that was just incidental contact. No, that was Grayson Allen being a little dick. It's him being a little douchebag because that's what Grayson Allen is. I look at Grayson Allen and I see a guy where I'm like, that guy's a dick. 
Do I know Grayson Allen personally? No. Is he maybe a great guy? Probably. But if I'm looking at that clip, which I'm watching over and over, just nonchalantly does it, and then the little asshole throws up his hands like, what? Well, why did you fall on the ground? I didn't do anything. No, you're a little asshole. You've done it twice now. You should be suspended a game, maybe two. And I'm going to go as far to say this. You can play this Tuesday against Wake Forest. you got to sit against North Carolina. You have to sit against North Carolina. The biggest game of your season, the second time you get to play that, maybe sweep North Carolina this season, if Duke wins that game, it's going to help their tournament resume. You can't play in that one, Grayson, because your actions have spoken for you. This is not me coming from a, I look back at, like, when I was younger and Tim Tebow was famous, and I would say as a kid, man, I hate Tim Tebow. I would look back and go, you know what? I didn't hate Tim Tebow. I just didn't like Florida, and now I'm okay with Tim Tebow as I am older, more mature than I was at a younger age. But not smarter because it's just more mature, yeah, not more it's, mature. It's, little, it's more mature, but with Grayson Allen, I just see when I look at the trips, when I see his demeanor on the court, I say to myself, I go, I've seen this before. I've seen this book before, except Duke was a little bit better when the first book was made. He's Christian Leitner, just not as good. He is this generation, this era's college basketball Duke version of Christian Leitner. And I could totally see it. The kid that he came out of nowhere last year in the tournament. I didn't even know who Grayson Allen was until he had his tournament just blowout last year and helped Duke win it all. But he's got the two tripping incidents. This is a kid that also gets favors from the referee, travels, hits a game winner, doesn't get it called. And then afterwards, it's oh, that I'm not even going to get into that because that doesn't even matter. This is a kid that I just look at his demeanor on the court. I look at just, he just looks like a smug asshole to me. And I hate Grayson Allen. I hate him. And it's just one of those things where it's like, like I said, I don't know Grayson Allen personally. He may be a nice guy to his friends. But I look at what he did on the court two times. Because when you're a college basketball player, the magnifying, especially when you're a Duke, the magnifying glass is put over you. I look at that and I go, there's no need to do that. There's no need to purposely trip an opponent, suspend him a game. And for me, I mean, you could suspend him for Tuesday against Wake Forest, but that's like doing nothing because let's be honest, Grayson Allen doesn't need to play against Wake Forest for Duke to win. I say take him out of the Tar Heel game. You know what? You want to trip players? We'll trip you before you get to that game so you can't play in it. Ricky, what I think you see on the basketball court is a privileged white guy, and you don't like it. It's not that I don't like it, and I'm glad you brought that up, because what was the main, and anyone who watched the I Hate Christian Leitner 30 for 30, what was the big thing that everybody, like the main reason why people hated Christian Leitner? Most people thought he was privileged. He was the privileged white kid, went to Duke. That's what Duke was. When you watch the Fab Five talk about Duke, when they play it, like Jalen Rose, um, oh, I'm blanking his name, um, Howard played with the Bullets and the Heat, and Jawan Howard, that was his first name. The one thing, they talk about Grant Hill that played for that Duke team. What do they call, what did those players who played at Michigan during the Fab Five call Grant Hill because he played at Duke and Uncle Tom? I don't know if I necessarily see that in Grace and Allen because it's not it's not one of those things. It's more of I see his actions on the court. I see the way he carries himself. I don't like it. I think he's an asshole. I don't want him when if he goes into the draft, I don't want him anywhere near my Chicago Bulls. And I think he should be suspended, maybe a game or two the rest of the regular season at the most. North Carolina game at the least 
for tripping the two players? I think that there would be more controversy around it if either of the players, let's say, got injured. Uh, I Neither of them did, thankfully. But I think if if one of the guys that he tripped got injured, I think that we are looking at a suspension for Grayson Allen. Mm-hmm. Not just w- w- one game, like a, maybe a couple. Definitely a couple of games, I think, if, if any of them got injured. Seriously. But thank go- like I said, again, thank goodness they did not. I, I don't. I really don't think that Grayson Allen is a dirty player. Because, again, these are two instances. Yes, both in the month of February. February 8th was the first one. February 25th, just recently. But you have to look at what else there is on Grayson Allen. Is there much? No. There's not. And those are two instances. Yes, they don't look great. But I'm not going to suspend them. You know what makes it look I don't think worse? that there's need to suspend him. I think there's probably need to, like I said before, have Coach K just say, Grayson, you are too good to do those dirty tricks. Don't do it. Just play your game. You're good enough without it. Don't do it. Well, and I mean, the injury, the one thing I will throw in is the one when he tripped the Louisville player. He was called for a flagrant foul on that one. So that was enough to warrant a flagrant foul. A flagrant foul. But here's the thing with Grayson Allen. This is the last point I will make. I watched the play, the one with the Florida State player, um, Xavier Raton Mays, that he tripped. And after the game, what Grayson Allen said, all you have to do is give me a good quote to look from. And when I say a good quote, one that goes... Okay, maybe what was on the court wasn't what I was seeing. But yet again, I'm going to say what I saw. I saw them come together. I saw the Florida State player go to make a break behind Grayson. And Grayson intently lean his foot back and throw it in front of the legs of Xavier to trip him. What does Grayson Allen say after the game? He wanted to keep playing physical, so I tried to walk away from it as he was grabbing me. We ended up tangled up and falling. You didn't end up tangled up. You didn't fall. He fell. You didn't. You stood there with your arms up. Unless I'm reading a quote from the Louisville one, but this is in the article for the Florida State one. So I see that and I go, you're an asshole. You didn't fall. The The Xavier from Florida State fell. I see that quote. I see I'm writing on the wall. Maybe I'm being too blunt, but I see you're an asshole. I hate you. And I hate I, like I hate Grayson Allen. And I almost said it because I feel like the same group of people years ago that would be like, I hate Christian Leitner. Do I hate Christian Leitner? No, I wasn't old enough at the time. Christian Leitner and Duke was way before my time of where I am in sports fandom, but I look at Grayson Allen, I go, I hate Grayson Allen. I hate everything he stands for. I hate the way he carries himself on the court. I can't wait until I can watch college basketball without him. Strong words, folks. Very strong. From Ricky Whitmer.